What's going on YouTube? This tutorial, I just want to show you how you can use data validation to make sure that only whole numbers are entered in cells. So that way if someone types in something that's not a whole number, they'll get a message saying that um, it doesn't match data validation restrictions. So to do this, I'm going to go to new tab. So of course Excel defaults to so you being able to type in whatever you want to um, into a cell. But data validation it just basically goes through and restricts exactly what you can type in a cell. So to apply data validation first, I highlight the range that you want to apply data validation to, which for uh, this example cells E5 to E12. Um, then go to the data tab, where under the data tab, towards the right, you're going to see a grouping called data tools. Click on that and click on data validation. We're here under settings, you can adjust the validation criteria where you can say allow instead of any value, you can adjust it to be a whole number. And then you can also adjust um, the criteria for the whole number that gets entered. So you can say between given numbers, not between given numbers, whole numbers equal to given numbers for numbers greater than a given number, whole numbers less than a given number, um, greater than equal to, whatever fits your fancy. Um, for this example, we're going to just say between. So let's say whole numbers between 1 and 24 hours, um, for example, 24 hours a day. So this prevents somebody from accidentally having a typo that throws something off. So click OK. And now the data validation settings are applied to type 2, it's fine. 2.5, not fine. But one thing that's to note too is pretty cool is you can actually adjust the settings. Um, so there's things you can adjust with data validation. So going back to data validation, you can, uh, for one, adjust the error message. So the default is to have an error message that shows this little red X and it says, hey, does my data validation restriction, but you can adjust the um, icon to something that's not necessarily as harsh, so let's say information, um, and then you can give some more specific instructions on what they need to put in. So please put in a whole number between 1 and 24, for, um, please enter valid data. So you can adjust the icon, the title, and the message to have something that's a bit more clear. So click OK. So let's say you type in 2.5 now. It says, please enter valid data. Please enter a whole number between 1 and 24. And the little icon, uh, information icon, instead of the um, X, which is a little bit less harsh in my opinion. You can also go through um, going back to the audition tools and put input message. So you can say, um, in, so this is useful because whenever you highlight over cell, it gives them some sort of insights to what needs to be put into the cell. So entering a whole number between 1 and 24. Enter whole number. Um, say enter a number. Please enter a whole number between 1 and 24. Click OK. So now whenever someone hides over the range, this little this little box pops up that says enter number, please enter number between whole number between one and twenty-four. So that way they can get an idea of what to type in um before they even type anything in. And now if they type in a whole number that's twenty-six, it won't work. Um twenty it will work, twenty point five. It won't just because um of data validation settings, but there's also a message that gives some insight as to what needs to be typed in. So that's it. I hope you found this to be tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day.